let's go back in the past. Let's go back to the past. 45,000 years back. It was in Egypt. And it was a group of people descendant from Abraham and Jacob. It was Moses. Moses who was raised as a king, who was a prince, who had a, the life of the Egyptian prince. Until one day he found out he was not Egyptian, but instead he was a hero. A man came yesterday. His name is Moses. My grandma said that he used to live here in Egypt, but then he had to go. And now he's back and he's bringing news. He said that we can go to a land where we can have honey and milk or something like that. But I'm so excited because right now I'm, I'm, I take care of my cousins sheep, I mean goats, and and his camel, but I imagine that once I'm there in, in that land, I can have my own goats, and I can have my own camel, and I'm going to name my camel, I don't know, I have no idea what I'm going to name my camel, but anyway, I want to have it. Well, that guy Moses said that he's working to get us out. He said that God told him to come over here. Right, Grandma? But the Pharaoh, Pharaoh, but the Pharaoh would not let us go. He wants to keep us here so he can finish his cities. And he has other projects too. But I want to go to that new land. We have faith in God. The Lord, our Savior, the Lord will help us. I cannot wait to see Moses tomorrow. <laughs> I want to know what the next step is. And whatever, whatever needs to be done, I want to help. I want to help. I want to help. Shalom, Hashem Ha.
Well, I speak English too. Right, Grandma? Yeah, my grandma taught me English. So here in, in Egypt, we are happy. I take care of my cousin's goats, and I take care of my uncle's camel. And it's good. We work really hard, and it's very hot. Grandma's cooking. She's put. She's putting up. The, she's putting the fire. Grandma's putting the fire. Grandma, it's been here for a long time since I was a baby, and she's so excited that we get to go. Right, Grandma? Well, she's gonna make ceramic um, pots so other people can buy them and they can make food and use them. Grandma's very smart, yes. And I'm gonna help her. And we're gonna go to the river and we're gonna sell them there. They won't let us do it here. That's why we wanna leave. We're gonna leave very soon. That, that guy Moses, he said he was gonna speak to the Pharaoh. But the Pharaoh won't let us go. It's not so easy. But we are praying and praying that the Almighty God, the most powerful, will help us very soon, very soon. We're gonna go to that land, and I'm so happy. I like bread. One of my favorite food. One of my favorite food is bread. We love bread. The flat bread is so good. Grandma makes a really good bread. Right, Grandma? Grandma's still putting up the fire. I'll help you in a minute, Grandma. Yes, we also like grapes. We love watermelon. Yeah, they bring watermelon. So juicy. And since it's so hot here, it helps us, it helps us out. Yes. And we love... I'm Rixie. But you can call me Ricky. In the language English, it's pronounced Ricky. But here in Hebrew, it's called Rixi. Right, Grandma? Yes. Grandma's cooking. She's, well, she's putting up the fire. She's heating up the stove so we can start making bread. And we can eat it with olives. I love olives. They're so yummy. Sometimes we eat chicken. It's really, really good. Grandma makes really good chicken. She's going to make lentils today. I love lentils with flatbread. God is God the all-powerful is going to help us and we're going to go to that land where there's milk and honey but I'm excited because I'm going to have my own goats and my own camel which I'm gonna name Bright Star yes so well grandma I'm gonna go get more wood so you can start doing the food because I am very hungry Yes, dear. We are going to start the dinner soon. It seems like everybody was so happy being a Hebrew in Egypt while Joseph was in the rain. But when Joseph died, they selected a new Pharaoh who did not like Hebrews and slowly Hebrews started to become slaves servants in the army and in the construction not the pyramids like we all thought for a long time not the pyramids but the cities the cities of Ramses Ramses was building cities and he was using the Hebrews as labor men. It, yeah, the pyramids of Egypt were built 100 years after the Hebrews left Egypt. When the Pharaoh let them go, and Moses took them to the Promised Land. 100 years later, the pyramids were constructed. Now, it, now they have found evidence in 2005 
that the people that were in charge of building and labor of the pyramids in Egypt were well paid were paid by by meat and other food products and they were they had home they had nice homes also and that was not the case with the Hebrews but the Hebrews were not involved with the pyramids they were they were involved in building the cities that the Pharaoh was building at that time but let's go back let's go back in this beautiful story and just I'm gonna share it to you very briefly there are movies about it there has there has been like books about it it's on the Bible it's it's the Exodus era and the Egyptian era it all started when the new Pharaoh after Joseph died the one that I told you who did not like the Hebrews he asked one of the ladies he he asked a group of ladies that were involved in helping women give labor to babies to kill every male child that was a Hebrew but the ladies were very nice and they couldn't kill a baby so they didn't kill them they didn't listen to the Pharaoh but the Pharaoh got very very mad and he sent to kill every young baby boy that was Hebrew and Moses mom took care of him and hide him until I think three months and then she couldn't hide him anymore so she had to do something about him to save his life and God 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 it's so so amazing and sometimes we don't understand the ways he does things but let me tell you the way God thinks it's perfect it's design it's and I, I, I absolutely respect the ways of the Lord and sometimes I don't understand things in the past God will tell me you don't understand what I'm doing but later you will understand and here I am 10 years later trying to do things and the things that I'm doing, I would have not have done them right now if I would have not have had those 10 years. And now I understand a lot. And yes, time, times can be difficult sometimes, but God is always there and He has a purpose and He has a goal and He has a, a, a way for you, for me. And I, I praise Him and I love Him and I give Him the glory for everything that I have had live in the past 10 years because I'm standing here in front of you because of all of that. And just like Moses, let's go back to his story. So uh, Moses' mom wanted to save his little boy and she put him in a little Moses canister and put him in the river who ends up with the, uh, the Egyptian uh, uh, kings, the Pharaoh's daughter. And so they raised little Moses until he was big and, and uh, he was a prince and he was involved in all their activities as the Egyptians. And he would live the Egyptian life. If anybody have seen the movie, it's it's really, really, really nice. The the one from the 70s, I think, and the recent one from 2000, I am assuming 2012. I'm not sure, but it's amazing. I mean, I want I want to watch it right now. <laughs> so anyway, so Moses finds out that he's not a, a Egyptian, but instead he finds out that he's a Hebrew and uh, when he is in the labor where all the Hebrews are working as slaves and uh, servants and one of the Egyptians uh, he treat he mistreats one of the, the Hebrews and uh, he hits him and Moses gets really mad and he kills him but then Moses has to run away he has to run away and he runs away to a city uh, far away from the, the Egypt era and this is where he meets his wife and then he meets his new family and uh, so he actually also meets God 
And then God's tell him, you need to go back and you need to save my people, the Hebrews. See, the Hebrews believe in one God. So God tells Moses that he needs to go back to save his people. And like I said, the, the Hebrews believe, the Hebrews, descendant of Abraham and Jacob, they strongly believe in Jehovah. They strongly believe in God, the warrior, the God of warrior, and he, the, the all almighty. And uh, so they don't participate in uh, all this, this uh, 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 praising and worshiping of other gods like the Egyptians did at that time. And so God wants the wants to save them, you know, wants to get them out of there. And uh, so He tells uh, Moses, "Hey, you need to go get my people and take them to the Promised Land, and they're gonna be happy there." So Moses Moses had a problem with his speech, and God told him, "Don't worry, because I'm going to talk to you." Isn't that amazing? I just love it. So anyway, so Moses goes back to Egypt, and then he talks to he talks to the 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 pharaoh, pharaoh. The, he talks to the pharaoh. The, oh my God, that word is so hard for me. He talks to pharaoh. pharaoh to, he talks to the pharaoh. Ramses. Well, he talks to Ramses, the Pharaoh at that time, and and so they knew each other. They they actually were like brothers, but uh, so, but, hmm. So he goes back to Egypt, right? And then so he went to see the Pharaoh, Ramses, and uh, so they know each other because they grew up since they were babies. And uh, but Pharaoh, he doesn't like heroes. And uh, so he knows that he's a hero. And although he do has an appreciation for him uh, because they grew up together, um, there, there is a line, you know, and the Pharaoh asked him, what do you want? What are you doing here? And, and Moses said, hey, I want you to free the Hebrews. And he was like, well, no way. There's no way that's gonna happen because who's gonna build my cities? Uh, I need them. So, so uh, God, I need to say this because God, He hardened the heart. It's in the Bible. He hardened. He made His heart hard. He, God, made His heart, the Ramses' heart, the Pharaoh, hard because He wanted to show. Moses and everybody his power ain't that nice yes so he did it on purpose he made the foreign said no way Jose because he wanted to show uh, to show his power and anyway so the foreign said no and then Moses said well you're gonna listen one way or another <laughs> And so a lot of things happened. There were uh, pl plagues that happened, and eventually uh, the Pharaoh gives up and says, "Okay, you can. I, I'll let you can go. You can go. Go away from my from my city." And so everybody leaves very happy. Uh, in the movie, it's like a big celebration, and, and when you watch it, you cannot not celebrate when you see this scene because it's like something that the heroes have been waiting for a long, long time, and finally, finally, is happening. And it's so amazing when you are waiting for the response that God and and God knows when He's going to have that for you and. Boom, when it happens, it's just magnified. It's amazing. It's, it's, it's lovely. What did I just do? Who's going to build my cities? What, what did I just do? What happened? Why did I just give up? So he went out there with his army to chase the Hebrews. So a lot of things happen again and the, the God shows the power. There was fire, there was the opening of the sea. And uh, so the, the Hebrews got to a part where they could not cross. And, and uh, so God made the, the sea open so they could go through. Uh, when the Pharaoh came,
and got to that part, the sea went back to normal and they all drowned. And it was, it's just beautiful. I encourage you to watch it. It's just amazing. It's amazing, the story. Uh, the, and it doesn't end, and it still doesn't end there, okay? It still doesn't end there. So Moses goes, uh, they made it to, to uh, an area, and then Moses goes up and talks to God, and God gives him commandments, and he comes down, and uh, Moses gets mad because the people are like being rebellious, and they could not wait, and, they're partying and they're like they create this this idol because they wanted they needed something to praise and worship they're used to that and uh, so Moses gets really 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 mad and then more stuff happens it, uh, after that it's so amazing so Moses didn't get to see the promised land well I take it back he got to see it but he didn't get to go so he passes away, but he doesn't go in. He passes away. Moses was allowed to see it, but he was not allowed to enter. Genesis Remaster Cooking with Ricky. Well, today it's all about Egypt, so we are going to experience what the Egyptians would have on their meal and the Hebrews will have on their meals on a regular daily basis. Well, they were fan of breads, and so we are going to taste this flatbread that Ricky's grandma, the Hebrew grandma, cooked. And why not? It's so good. It's delicious. We also have cheese. Egyptian people were a fan about the cheese. They had a lot of cheese, different cheese. We also have olives. <laughs> I'm still eating the cheese. Who doesn't love olives? I love olives. And the Egyptians did too. And the Hebrews. Mm. I want to eat everything. They also enjoy grapes. They also enjoy watermelon and pomegranate. Pomegranate are, they have seeds. And they, they these are very, the color is so rich. And it's so flavored. And uh, so a lot of people will eat the whole seed. And my friend Pam, she only sucks the, the, the seed and then spits it out. <laughs> they also were a fan of watermelon. I love watermelon. In a hot weather, who would not want to enjoy? Mmm, it's so good. And also, the Egyptians, the Egyptians will have um, pineapple. They will have pomegranate. They will have uh, watermelon. Who doesn't love watermelon? Let me take a bite. Mmm. It's just so good. The Egyptians had a good. And the Hebrews did as well. Because they live in their territories for a long, 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 long time. The bread is so good. It's so delicious. These things are called dates. Very, very, very popular in the Mediterranean area and of course Egypt they're very sweet mmm I just love them and then we also have walnuts they also the Egyptians were very rich in uh, walnuts, nuts and beans beans too, lentils, they love lentils and then, so I have this soup right here. It's a uh, green pea soup, but it could also be like uh, lentils, lentils. I love them. My mom used to cook them all the time. And I used to have a coworker 
that used to bring lentejas, lentils all the time. Well, friends, this is it. This is, uh, they also had chicken. They also ate chicken and fish and beef. Um, I, well, see you until the next time. Next time we are going to make some cooking. Today was not about cooking. It was just like finger picking, which is my favorite. But next time, well, follow me next time. And next time we'll start cooking something very, very delicious. Here on Genesis Remaster. Cooking with Ricky, Ricky the cook. Yeah, next time we may have done. Well, this is it. I enjoy it. I can't wait to eat all of this. It's so healthy and so nutritious, and it's just, just the best thing in Egypt and everywhere. <laughs> Thank you.